So I've got to get prepared for speaking in front of a spotlight and a camera because I'm going to major in communications and media and doing a big screen. So it's my senior project on homosexuality, obstacles, homosexual space, and how they should be discriminated against. A mirror, check the time. Thesis. Homosexuals shouldn't be discriminated against due to their sexuality and how they express their gender identity. Sexual orientation discrimination. Includes being treated differently or harassed because of your sexual orientation, <laughs> whether gay, lesbian, bisexual, or heterosexual. Most, discrimi most discrimination stems from homophobia. Homophobia. Homophobia is a range of negative attitudes and feelings towards homosexuality and people who identify themselves as homosexuals. This fear can sometimes trigger hate crimes. Can you guys think of a situation where fear turns to hate? Trayvon Martin and Zimmerman. Because um, he was scared of a black man in a hoodie. And then ultimately he killed Trayvon, even though he was a 17 year old kid and it shouldn't have been somebody he was scared of. Just that black man in a hoodie and oh, he's up to no good. So Trayvon lost his life because of that fear. Do you guys agree? I agree. Another story that you guys may or may not be familiar with is Ryan White. Ryan White was an American teenager from Kokomo, Indiana, who became a national poster child for HIV AIDS in the U.S. After being expelled from middle school because of his affection as a, I believe this word, hemophiliac, hemophilia, I had trouble with it all day, he became infected with HIV from a co contaminated blood treatment. Doctors said, said he posed no risk to other students, but AIDS was poorly understood at the time. And when White tried to return to school, many parents and teachers in Kokomo a rail against his attendance. Before white, AIDS was a disease widely associated with the gay community because it was first diagnosed among gay men. <coughs> right. Could you imagine? Having to pretend to be someone that you're not, being bullied, hated, or targeted because of your sexual orientation. People, family, friends, co-workers treating you differently, but they finally learn who you really are. Names such as gay, fairy, homo, dyke, fag, and faggot are some of the cool words used to use every day to refer to homosexuals. Even the phrase, that's so gay, is offensive because it's as if you're implying gay means bad. Thus saying that gay people are bad people. Hate crimes. The National Coalition of Anti-Violence Programs, a group that supports victims of anti-LGBT harassment, reported in January 2012 that hate incidents against LGBT people and HIV-affected persons increased 13% from 2009 to 2010. The coalition also states that murders of LGBT people were number 27, the second highest total recorded. Half of the victims did not report the crimes to police, and 61% of victims who did said they experienced indifferent or abusive police attitudes. Suicide. Numerous studies have shown that lesbian, gay, and bisexual youth have a higher rate of suicide attempts than do heterosexual youth. The Suicide Prevention Resource Center synthesized these studies and estimated that between 30, per 30 and 40 percent of 
LGBT youth dependent on age and sex group have at least attempted suicide once. Depression and drug use. Depression and drug use among LGBT people have both been shown to increase significantly, significantly after new laws that discriminate against gay people are passed. Did you know that homosexuals, mainly gay me uh, men, cannot donate blood? I did not know that. And why, why is it? As in the Ryan White case, and from back then basically, supposedly AIDS started and was you know, first diagnosed homosexual yeah, in a gay male community. So they feel as though And still to this day still to this day. Gay men are not allowed <laughs> to <laughs> donate blood. Right. So God forbid me being an O negative blood type, if a gay man came in and had O negative blood and could save my life, it wouldn't go down. No, they would not draw his blood. That he has HIV. Wow. Can you take him to court for that? Mrs. Millen said that'll be a good case. But there's no law protecting homosexuals' rights in that kind of situation. Wow. It's no that's discrimination. That's the definition of discrimination. Right. They're, they're not supposed to, yeah. Not blood. Race, creed, sexual orientation, all that is part of discrimination. Wow, that's not, you learn something new every but day. in that case where he most. So yeah, yep. that's true too. Fear is turning to hate. Like the example of Ryan White, he was hemophiliac and he needed a blood transfusion. And he it wasn't AIDS because he it. was gay. Right, he got AIDS from the blood transfusion. Was he a homosexual though? No, that never was. He just had AIDS and the parents banned him. Because, oh man. Like it said at the time, AIDS wasn't, it was freshly like new and they didn't understand. He died. He died. He was, only, he was uh, given six months to live. And then after all that, and then the And he had full blown AIDS. It wasn't HIV. Full blown AIDS. They told you he had six months to live. And after the whole expulsion from school, whatever, Michael Jackson, all of them became like really cool with him. He wound up living five years past his estimated lifetime. And then people started becoming more familiar because yeah, I remember Ryan Magic White. Johnson mm -hmm. and other celebrities and people who were considered straight were getting AIDS. So they were like, this is not true gay men. Because you could be on a down low or your wife you could have a dirty you. tattoo needle. You could get heroin. Yeah. It's just. Transfusion of We're a lot more educated on that now, but that's a shame. Yeah. Well, these statistics are why I thought it was a good idea to teach Ms. Teach Ms. Gilson's fourth period honors class about discrimination against homosexuals and obstacles they face. During our service, we were actually able to have a mature discussion on if they personally believe that sexuality was a choice or not. Some people brought the fact that we choose to be gay. And I made the point that if we choose to be gay, then everyone in this room is bisexual because we can choose who we want to be with. Right? A girl or boy. So that means everybody's bisexual. That's true. This results in students actually opening up that discussion, sharing their personal stories, and coming out. Three students shared that they were out and proud. Some people were like, I'm bi. Some people were like, I'm gay. Some people opened up about, you know. But they were open to it. Right. And they shared their personal uh, opinions like that's not always the case. Right. Another reason why we did this service was to provide resources for students who would like information or maybe a place to escape. Since there are students in Carroll who are gay, maybe we can host an event supporting LGBT students within our own community, Carroll. Whenever we start in school, students can take what happens in here and branch it out to others in their community. Now, knowing that there are students attending Carroll who are out, we encourage these students to sign the Think Before You Speak pledge. This pledge encourages people to be mindful of what comes out their mouth and the effect it may have on someone. In addition to my project and service, myself and some friends volunteered and joined the Attic Youth Center. The Attic is a safe place for homosexuals, questioning, or heterosexuals who they need a safe place, guidance, resources, or just want to help. Since joining them, we became more involved in the LGBT community and continue to attend the Youth Center. Future. I believe our service learning can further help the community if we continue to make Carol a safe place. I also mentioned to our instructional leader that we possibly, if we could put a flag outside of each teacher's door who feels comfortable discussing this topic, students can have a place to go just to talk. Yeah, that's a good idea. Some of my, we okay, <laughs> I skipped the part. Self reflection.
So my weaknesses with completing this project is letting others, other things occupy my mind, holding off deadlines, procrastinating, and just being late. Strengths I had during this project, being organized, detailed, and asking questions. I pride myself on asking Garvey a thousand questions because it helped me understand what it was I had to do. Instead of listening to people doing it wrong or doing too much, by t talking with her, I made it more simple on myself. This is where I'm excited, where I got my... information from. Thank you. Eight minutes and 37 seconds. Who? Eight minutes and 37 seconds.